much like everybody else's sort of speech, because I figured what I do is different from what other people do. I'm a sculptor, I'm an artist, and I don't have a box. Except that for the purposes of teaching, of course, you have to have some sort of curriculum. These are some arches and things that I do that are outside of what I call the box. This is something different, something special. Oh, it skipped. Part of what I do are spirals and swirls and natural arches. And I was recently sent to Boulder, Colorado to do a project for a lady to do stairwells and window wells for her basement windows. So this is the concept I came up with to cover an area. Oh, hello. Mm -hmm. So these are the pictures of the spirals before. Yeah. <laughs> um, these are, this is sort of an example of, of the continuum of our life. These are things that we see in our natural landscape all the time we might not pay attention to. Pine cones, conch shells, the Colosseum in Rome, the house in Boulder, Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> this is the stairwell that I was given the assignment to do something with. And I designed the spirally, swirly drawing that you saw as what to do in that downstairs space to allow light into the basement level for one of the children's bedrooms. This house has a solar panel roof. Um, this is the, the well that the whole project was about. So how to design something that was modern and futuristic that would speak to the old and um, traditional ways of dry stack stone masonry, which is what my skill set is in this application. First I went to the drawing, to the house, and then to the quarry. This is where the stone comes from. So this all feeds the plan. The mass and scale of this sort of stuff is going to tell what will come from the project itself, how to accomplish it, and um, what it might look like. When the stone was delivered, we pulled it off the back of a truck. Um, this is the first 20 tons of rock. <laughs> I ended up using 56 tons of stone in this project. Um, and we bought more as we needed it. It was $125 a ton. And the kid that was selling it to us was so excited because he'd never seen his stone do curvy, artful, sculpty things. So this is the end of the first day. I had three stairs built and the beginning of the first scoop on one side and the return to the other side. This building is um, then engineered and designed to be a very sustainable structure. And they wanted it to be both new and traditional in feeling. So while these stairs were designed specifically so that if animals went in, that they could get out and didn't die down there in the bottom of the hole. Um, they aren't necessarily egress for people. But the whole feeling of the thing was meant to feel like water, that you could have this lightness to them, that they wouldn't feel heavy and um, impossible. I wanted it to feel like it was in constant motion, even though it was so solid and founded on um, a solid foundation, for lack of other... Is there room. water in that circle? There is not any water in the circle. These are planting beds. Um, after the fact, I asked them in the design process, do you want electricity in there? Do you want water pipes in there? Do you want anything for planting later on? And they said, nope, 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 nope. And then when we got all done, they decided, oh, yeah, that would have been great to have a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so we could have put lights right there. <laughs> Koi fish. Um, so anyway, this is, I, I, I worked on this design for one day, and then I worked on the project for five days with a crew of two Mexican guys and some Spanish vocabulary, which I won't share, that I learned. Um, <laughs> forget. This is a look straight up the stairwell. You can see how steep the steps are. They're um, 12 inches on the rise. So it gets out of the ground front to back in 10 feet, and it rises 15 feet overall. This is a view I climbed up on the roof when no one was looking and shot a photo straight down. This is the day before we were done. This is the base the basement level, this is, that's the first level, this is the second, third, and then fourth, and then you're out, this is the ground height, the finished ground on top, and that's the last step. This well, inside of that one, from bottom to top, is about six feet tall, and the ground on the outside of that is three feet up, it's, it's half that height. 
So I created all of this difference in texture with the stairwell down the middle blending and folding into it. So you have that sort of curved rise. This is the landscape of the houses in the area. And this woman wants to bring um, people from the community in and have a cooperative farm garden situation in her front yard. And she wants people to grow their groceries at her home. Mm. This sort of client that um, just is a real treasure to work with. Sometimes building stairs is boring. Sometimes it's very, very fun. Um, sometimes it's really horribly muddy and dirty and cold and disgusting. And this day was one of those days. It was really hard <laughs> to be there. In the back of the house, we had a similar well, but I had six feet to work in from front to back, 12 feet to rise in that six-foot distance. And then um, on that end, I had five feet to go from the corner out to be able to fit um, an air conditioning unit. So I had to rise up that entire distance. And then in the very middle of the project, the architect told me that on that end, the other end, there needed to be a cantilevered stone so the gas man could read the gas meter. <laughs> <laughs> so we trundled in a two-ton rock slab so that anybody could stand out there. So me and the crew jumped out there. Just as a sense of scale, this is me at the end of the project. So that was how we turned stone into wire. <laughs>